Hey you guys, today I am going to see the Benson murals which are in Benson, Arizona. I'm also going to go into their visitor center because they have a book about the murals and then I'm also going to try the simulation that is in the visitor center. This looks so intense. <laughs> Now, what you need to do to go forward, first you have to turn on engine run, generator field, fuel control, front and rear headlights, and dash lights. This particular train has a 9,000 cubic inch V16 two-stroke diesel. And on one end there's a generator, on the other end there's a, a compressor. And the compressor fills the air for the air brakes, the generator runs the electricity, and there is six traction motors on that SD70, uh, one over each axle. So the generator produces the electricity. If you put it in one, all three of those axles go that same speed. Okay, so in order to go forward, what you do is pull this horn twice. Now push this that way. This? Yeah. I'll pull back the throttle to whatever speed. One is the slowest, four is the fastest. You see? There's a little camera on the front of that. And it looks a lot faster here than it does up there. Yeah. You want to go faster? Go for it. Mm -hmm. And everybody wait for it right here because you'll see it on the screen. See it? If you got work in, you pull, pull the bell out. Pull that out for a second. That the last thing over there. Oh. It's pretty loud. Yeah. So it's got all the bells and whistles. There were other trains on other tracks. Those can also be used with the simulator. This is just the one that was chosen the day I went. And then a couple came in, so I decided to look at everything else in the visitor center. And this was cool because it's a stove that was used over a hundred years ago in a Southern Pacific caboose. I even opened it up to look inside of it. This was used for road flares in the 1960s. This is a map of all the people who have visited from around the world and the U.S. As you can see it's pretty loud and this was also on a main street so there were cars constantly rushing by which is why I'm doing a voiceover and a lot of these murals are by the visitor center in the parking lots feel free to pause and look at these longer some of the murals have hidden things in them so I tried to zoom in to the ones I could see so like I was saying there are hidden things in these images and there's a penguin in this one But not all of the murals have something hidden in them. At least, I don't think they do. I couldn't see anything. I stared at some of these for a long time just to make sure. But I might have missed a bunch. Who knows? This mural was across the street from the visitor center. They're actually all around the town, so it was good to get out, walk around, and look at some art. It was a nice day out too. Anyway, this one had a lot of hidden things in it since it was so large. It took up the entire side of this building. It was also really cool seeing all of the different brands. Oh, there's an elephant. 
and a rhinoceros over here. Believe it or not, this is still the same mural. And like I said, it was super big. It took up the whole side of the building and there were plenty of other hidden images inside of this mural. There were actually a lot of faces in the trees. And what I mean by that is that the trees had faces on them, which is really interesting. The faces were also in the mountains. And I did zoom into some of the faces on this mural. That way you guys could see what I'm talking about. And then I did zoom into a couple of other things before moving on to the next mural, which is actually across the street from this one. So I didn't have to walk too far to get to it. Okay, so not only was there a little town, but there was a pencil, a cupcake, and a tiny little mouse on top of some suitcases. So then I noticed up the street there was another mural, and I decided to check it out. And there just happened to be another mural on the other side of the building, which was farther away from the main street, which is where I first started at the visitor center. I eventually made my way to another building, which sold pizza, and you can see pizza in this mural, which is pretty cool. This one's pretty cool because it's next to a pet grooming facility and it's actually pretty different from the other murals that I've shown you. And this is a mural of Karchner Caverns, which is also in Benson. There are supposed to be three bats in this and I stared at it for so long and I couldn't see any bats. I just saw this miner down at the bottom there. And then what's also cool about this is the artist actually painted himself painting this mural on the mural. And then I made my way back to another parking lot for the visitor center, which also had more murals. It's amazing to think that I saw so many murals, so many hidden images, and there's still more in Benson to see, but these are all the ones that I saw and I thoroughly enjoyed looking at all of them and I hope you guys are enjoying looking at them too. So right now I am going to get in the car and drive to another mural because it's across the street and this is a busy street, like it's so noisy, but this has been really fun, really exciting. Okay, we're in the final stretch and it's still unbelievable to me that there are more murals in Benson. Those were the Benson murals I saw. There's plenty more to see. You just walk around town and there's a bunch of different murals on different buildings. When I was in the visitor center, they had this book about the murals and it's $5 plus like taxes already included. It says it on the book. And it kind of just says everything about each mural, where it is in Benson. And then when you get the book, all the profits go to creating the murals, which is pretty cool. And I would highly recommend going into the visitor center because it was really fun because I got this Benson train certificate and I was so excited to get it. It was actually really, really exciting doing that. It was like a simulation of how a conductor would conduct a train. So it was really, really fun. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you are new, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I will see you next time.